Welcome, mates. I am Bloodthirsty Lord by Yunko and Lordy, and today we're back on the Cycle Frontier, a very new game that's based on a concept of Tarkov Meet Space. That's what it feels like, and it's quite enjoyable. I'll also jump into some raids and missions as we get into this match. It's going to be super fun. But before we do into this video, there's only a small percentage of mates to watch the video that are actually subscribed. Leave a like, show support, click the subscribe button to keep up to date. Press that join button to become a member on the channel. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. The way the game works, you have your inventory, which is a section of your character. So you get there, you have your actual stuff that you can keep for all rounds, unless you take them out into the fray, into the environment, into your mission. If you die, you lose everything. If you don't and you kill someone else, you gain all their stuff and leave the mission and evacuate. Quite interesting. You also have your quarters, which you can upgrade certain things for that and get increased passive upgrades over time with generators, inventory, and your workbench. And there's also three factions that you can go to and you go towards a certain missions, or objectives, and get contracts and pretty much able to do those contracts within your matches in order to get currency, rewards, and utilize them for future upgrades on your character. And now let's try to jump to the match in this mainframe right of here. Let's go to it and deploy into the fauna. And within a second, you are launched into the experience of the Cycle Frontier. I love that. There's literally no match queue times because it looks like you're just constantly in the game, continuously. It is such a crazy thing to see that you can just load into a match in a second since the games go forever. And pretty much there's, I think, 20 to 30 plays continuously in a mission or in a set environment or server. Quite interesting. That over there is one of the evacs being called. So you can go try and hunt down plays that go towards them. Then there's also dropships that will come down from the sky of other plays entering the realm as well. And the environment is quite pleasing to look at. Nice to see, got that space feel. And the reason why it's like Tarkov, you'll see with the way the game plays and the actual mechanics that we highlighted earlier and now in game, you can actually see it come to life. We also have contracts that we need to complete, which you can get certain supplies, certain elements in order to pretty much get to that completion of that contract, go back and get rewards by the end of the mission. So we got a creature over here, one of the PVE elements of the game. May switch over to my shoddy. There you go, nice. And they usually drop some type of mineral. Or something they can utilize. In this case, got some eyes. I'll take that. Why the hell not? And that was the rattle, I believe. We've entered one of the compounds, which is not a crucial compound to be in for our mission, but it looks like we found a player. We have found a player lingering around this part of the mission. I'm gonna take out my shotgun. Hopefully, I can kill them pretty much instantaneously. They try and mantle. Nice shots. Did I get the kill? Seems to be a couple of them. Let's use our healing stim here. They try to get some shots at me. Nice shots. I wanna push up. I'm versing two people. I killed one and the one guy actually killed me. I have been left behind. Oh, that is devastating. I didn't know there was two. Looks like they were the duo and they'll try to team up against me. Oh, so unfortunate. But you get the idea. Now I've lost my items. I can see the kill feed. What's well, actually occurred. This is the first one I've actually ever died. So I'm very surprised. I can see that I lost my mineral scanner. I can see that I lost my stims. My heavy mining tool, which I really needed because I just bought it. And also my shoddy too. Which is quite devastating to lose at this rank. And now I'm going to gear up and get back into the fauna once again. It's like nothing changed at all. Pretty much the same match. Just joining in with our new kit. A new character, can we survive this? I hope so. We should maybe try completing our missions too at the same time. I want to get kills, no doubts whatsoever. I want some kills. And this new weapon is an SMG, so have some crazy fire rate and hopefully be more of an up close personal weapon to utilize. There's a waterfall here, which is part of one of our missions, as you can see over here. Be close to waterfall and there's some type of mineral that we can get called veins. So we're gonna go over there and use our mineral scanner and hopefully pick up something that's close by. It looks like it's on the very top. Nothing close towards the bottom. It looks like it's on the top. So let's try to climb up and get to that point. There's a creature over here protecting it. That's actually quite annoying. I don't know how strong that is, but it looks quite strong. Let's go to our pickaxe and hopefully we'll be able to use that to destroy this. Hopefully this isn't just nickel. It is nickel. It's that one that I need. Can I blow this up? Can I blow this up? Oh my god. It's tanky. Why is it tanky? Okay, we're going to press E on this. It's trying to spin on me. Dude, blow it up. Is that enough? It's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. Get me out of this. Get me out of this. Oh, no. All I want is the minerals. Just give me the minerals. Leave. <laughs> it's still chasing me relentlessly. Can I drop down here? I can. Farm it in time. 
I hope so. I think this is it. That was it. We got one. We need three more. Well, that's going to be quite hard. Actually, it's not. It's right up here. There you go. Got it again. Perfect. Is there any more in there? They are very nice. It might have weak spots, but we got one of those missions complete. Now, in order to get the benefit of that mission being completed, you actually have to go towards the evac and be able to utilize it. So we'll see what we can do there. What are these little creatures? Can I shoot them? I don't know what they are. They're freaking me out, but let's just keep continuing. Moderate danger. That's not a good sign to see. We got the creature right over here. Killed one. I hope I have enough ammo for this. My concern is ammo. But we just lost health for nothing. There we go, got one, two, three. We'll just kill this and get that. Got it, perfect. Now we should start leaving. Is that a player? We found a player, we found a player. Let's crouch for a second. There's a player close by. Got the kill. Beautiful. Beautiful execution. Love that, look at him. Completely destroyed. He's got a legendary hat on, but we can't use it. Chuck your nade just in case. And hopefully we'll be able to heal right now. Closing that door just in case too. As we heal up. Let's go up here. I'm gonna try to heal up, yeah? Back to full HP. Got the kill! Perfect outplays! That is exactly what we do. I was double checking outside. That was some perfect outplays. Oh my god. Beautiful. Hit ammo. Nice. Nades. A lot of them, actually. Let's double check the loot here. That from earlier. Another AR with actual modifications. And pick up this one instead. This has been modified, which is quite good for us. So now we're going to double check our map and see what our actual evac points are. We've got two. One towards water facility. Found another player down there. One towards water facility, another one further away from that. I'm actually leave this character because I don't want to be caught in a bad fight when we get crossfire. As you see, oh my god! What gun? What sniper can two shot? Wow, it's the basic sniper. That is shocking. As I called, I thought there'd be another play close by after that. <laughs> he destroyed us. That name's unique. <laughs> but wow, we lost so much loot just then. We had so many benefits to actually help us with our next mission. And we lost that all just because of the way we died there. And now we have to jump into another match where we utilize a sniper now with the SMG build. Quite interesting. Let's get into it. Here we go again, mates. Can't believe it. Hopefully we can actually get the mission done this time. I'm not too sure, honestly. If we get a couple of kills, I'm happy. Let me ruin other people's days without a doubt. <laughs> so the sniper looks quite badass. I don't know how strong it is. I don't know how it actually works, but I'm guessing if it's any sniper, I can quick scope with this possibly as well. What are those? There's like green ones and red ones. I don't want to be a part of that. Let me get away from that. It seems like they're aggressive because I can hear them trying to hiss towards me. So my goal is to find a waterfall and I feel like I found one already. That's so good. That thing chased me. Dude. Oh, I killed it. Oh my God. Wait, did I kill it? Is it dead? It looks dead. I hope it's dead. We'll find out after. Oh no, I think we need one more. No, we need two more. No! I'm seeing gunshots towards this hillside. So I saw gunshots towards this direction, but sadly I'm not seeing the players. I see him. Got the shot? Nice play, nice play. I need to get meds off him. This guy might actually have my pass for my mission. Do I to heal up? There you go, back to full HP. Very nice. Oh my god, that must have been buffed like crazy, that weapon. Let's see what this gun was. Yeah, it was level 2 and it was pretty much maxed out. Oh, it's got some crazy sights in it. It's like a mini LMG. He also seemed like to have all my mission parts too. So as you can see by our contracts, we have quite a bit already. So I might actually try to leave this and go survive. So let's double check our map. Oh, it's pretty far up. I feel like I already heard a player above me. A whole nest of these creatures. I don't want to play around with that. And since now we have more loot on us, we're actually quite heavy. So hoping that we don't actually die quite quickly with this. I'm not sure the armor I picked up was actually that great. Seems like it's very low because obviously I put a lot of damage into it. 
So it does look like it resets like other games like Apex or such. Is that the minerals that we actually need? Feels like it's in there. It is the minerals that we want. And there's more here. Perfect. That means we get two at least. Someone's close by towards us. They have no clue we're here. Oh, the Blair! I killed two people. I killed two people. I killed two people. They had no chance. I think they were chasing me the whole time. There's no others. Oh my god. Completely destroyed. But I believe they had bigger backpacks. Which is quite good for us. So we have insane loot right now on us. And I believe there's a person above us. I still want to get that other material. So I'm going to go back here and try and get it. There we go. Completed all our missions. Let's get to our evac station. Which is sadly a bit further away than expected. But there's guys above us. I told you. Got one kill. Very nice. Is there any more? Oh my god, this LMG is beautiful. Now I need to find the backpack. Where'd it go? There we go, found it. Now I feel like we just dip, just in case, play super safe. So it feels like a lot of people just came out of nowhere to that location. Because they heard all the gunshots I had earlier. This is a massive leaf. That terrified the hell out of me. It's a massive plant in the water. Oh, I thought it was some like, type of monster or something. It tripped me out. We're close to one of the evac spots. Hopefully no one's capping here. Call the evac. It's the weirdest evac spot ever. I'm not in like a hillside or anything. I'm on some type of weird terrain. Maybe it's there. That's the evac position most likely. Evac's coming in. Nice, nice, nice. I have too much to lose right now. I have everything completed for my missions. There's too much to lose. Too much is on the line. Now we just need to get inside. Get inside, hold for around for 15 seconds. And I feel like that's enough for us to evac from this position. We're out. We're safe. We're safe. It's about to take off. Take off. Take off, dude. Oh my god, thank you. Evacuation successful. And those are all our rewards from this victory that we do gain. What an intense battle it was. So many weird encounters. And honestly, it's quite fun. If you've ever played Tarkov in the past, this does feel like that. But so much more forgiving and rewarding at the same time. Which is a blessing to have. And mates, that was our experience on the Saga Frontier. Tell me pins and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to know. And as always, mates, it is a pleasure to have you guys on the channel. As we go through this, and I'll catch you, mates, next time. Bye. Road to 200k subscribers. Let's get it, mates.